Lindsay Ford, a U.S. Deputy Assistant Secretary of Defense for South and Southeast Asia, reaffirmed Washington's security commitments to its Asian ally like the Philippines during a congressional hearing, and also commended the Philippines' action in the latest standoff between China Coast Guard and the Philippine Coast Guard. She also expressed praise for the action which it said was a bold step in defending their own sovereignty. United States reiterated that a military attack on Philippines will automatically invoke the Mutual Defense Treaty wherein the United States is obliged to respond and adhere to the aggression imposed by an attacking country. On August 30, 1951, the Republic of the Philippines and the United States of America signed by their representatives in Washington, D.C. The treaty, which has eight articles, and requires both nations to support each other if another party attacks the Philippines or the United States. Philippine officials said its Coast Guard members removed the floating barrier on Wednesday, following a special operation. They presented video showing members of the team diving into the water and cutting the line of buoys underwater. At a press conference, Philippine Coast Guard members showed reporters the anchor which they said Chinese boats had used to keep the line barrier in place. Philippines has stood by its removal of China's barriers in the South China Sea and said it will continue defending its territory. They just can't put barriers in an area that is clearly inside the Philippines, President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. said. President Marcos also said that the Philippines is not looking for trouble. We will do what is necessary. We will continue defending the Philippines, the maritime territory of the Philippines, the rights of our fishermen in waters where they have fished for centuries. We are staying away from fiery words, but our resolve to defend Philippine territory is strong. Marcos said. President Marcos told the press that the removal of the buoys allowed Filipino fishermen to catch 164 tons of fish in a single day. Beijing has protested the removal of the buoys, heightening a long-running dispute over the Scarborough Shoal. A Chinese foreign ministry official said it had laid down the line of buoys after a Philippine vessel illegally entered the shoal, and further stated that it had retrieved the line on Saturday. The Scarborough Shoal is one of several reefs and outcrops in the South China Sea that are clearly inside the Philippine Maritime Territory, but is also being claimed by China. China's Coast Guard has maintained a steady presence in the area since the end of a naval standoff in 2012, and its encounters with Filipino fishing vessels have been a constant source of friction with the Philippines. During follow-up surveillance trips, Philippine officials spotted two Chinese ships remained in the area. Some believe this is going to be a long cat and mouse chase with China in hotly contested waters. Bajo de Masanlac is the native name given by the Philippines centuries ago to the then internationally named Scarborough Shoal. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more military tensions news.